Now starting under the hood, first thing you notice is this big hybrid controller here and these big orange wires. Now anything orange on a hybrid is your high voltage leads so be very careful not to mess with them. Those wires are the outputs to the motors. So the transmission contains two electric motors and what this controller does is it's basically like a giant volume knob. It controls how much juice goes to the motors at any given time. Now essentially what the motors do is they actually assist this big hulky 6 liter engine to give you impeccable fuel economy, putting the motor under less load. So these two wires here actually are outputs from the battery. Now how it charges this 12 volt battery here, which is just purely to run the electrical system, your stereo and everything else, notice how it's quite small for such a big engine, is because this is actually an inverter as well and it inverts your 12 volt power from your 300 volt battery which is actually located over here underneath the seat so it's got folding seats here part in the old man golf cart here and then here right here is your manual battery service disconnect now, let's see if I can pull this cover off there we go Right there is your battery. Now this is a 300 volt battery pack and right here is your service disconnect. So to disconnect it you have to pull this tab down and pull it out and that shuts off the battery system. Now you have to give it about a half hour to 20 minutes or 20 minutes or so to actually let the capacitor system power down. It's different for every vehicle. About an hour to a half hour is about the it's about the average time. So another hocus pocus thing that people think about these is that the batteries won't last. But you know, we have a lot of in here in BC we got a lot of Prius taxis. And they've gone for hundreds of a couple hundred thousand miles or almost four hundred thousand K on the same batteries and have had no problems. So now that we're done here. I'm going to go briefly underneath for a quick look at the, at the guts of the vehicle underneath. Now as you can see here, from the battery down that way, leading this way, is this sheathed cable. And if you look inside, you can see the orange cable. All that is, the power supply cable that goes to the hybrid controller. Now inside this transmission here, if you can see that too well, is two electric motors. And what these do is these assist the gas motor. So the gas motor is under less load and simply just doesn't have to work as hard. Therefore, the fuel economy is significantly higher. All right. So another thing I need to add about the hybrid system is that if the motor need not run, it doesn't have to. motor's not running. However, the key is on and the vehicle is technically running. It's totally silent. You know, I got air conditioning, but oh, the engine's not running. And I can even move the vehicle with the engine off. However, when I go to place a load on the motor or I change gears into either M or into reverse, it fires the motor back up. So here, let me back up into the driveway. Now, if you look at the menu here, oops, that's not right. I guess we'll have to back up. It's, yeah, it's even got a backup camera. My old man is spoiled. Okay, so now if I go into park and hit menu, it comes up. Oh, crud. Turn it off. It goes into this hybrid menu. Now it shows that the engine's not running right now, it's an auto stop. Now, if, say, I go to put it in gear, the motor fires up tells me exactly what's going on. So the engine's idling right now, and what it's doing is it's putting power into the electric motor, but the electric motor is not spinning, therefore it's not wasting its power, it's actually recharging the battery. At 
the same time. Now if I move forward, it's telling me now the electric motor is now assisting the gas motor. Now if I come to a complete stop, it's back in engine idle. So now let me put it back in drive. Okay, now we're in auto stop. But now if I let my foot off the brake, it's purely on battery power alone. So, once again, I'll go back into reverse, and that'll fire the motor back up. And that's basically how the hybrid drive system works. Now, because this vehicle is a hybrid, and all hybrids, the electric motor can't do full assist at highway speeds. If I go back to the instant fuel economy, notice how it says V8. Well, this can actually go into V4 mode, which shuts off two cylinders on one bank and two on the other bank. And what that does is that's GM's multi-displacement system. See, now if we just let it sit for a second, it should shut the motor back off eventually. Now, the way that the hybrid system works, oh, there we go, is that it can only assist at a lower speed. So in order to keep the fuel economy up, it, what it does is it can shut off four cylinders and therefore use half the fuel when it doesn't need to. So when the motor's not under serious load, it only runs on four cylinders and that's how you get the highway gas mileage. So mainly the fuel economy from a hybrid system really only comes in the city driving. So, but you know, that's about all my dad does, so he doesn't really need the highway driving part of it. And the other thing about it is, how does, another question I guess, how does the air conditioning work and how does power steering work? So I can move this thing with one finger and the engine's not running. Well the engine, at the steering rack is actually assisted by an electric motor so the steering shaft goes down into the rack and in that, at the end of the rack there is an electric motor and that provides the assist when you turn the wheel. Same thing with this, it's just got an electric motor driving the AC compressor down underneath. And that's how the AC works. It also produces heat from this, the same way. However, it does have an, a, an auxiliary pump that pumps a coolant through it. So that's mainly the, the hot coolant actually comes from the drive motors. So that's how a hybrid works in a nutshell, basically. It's really not all that complicated. And you know what? This thing's got every little bell and whistle on it, and I just love it. I was a little skeptical at first, but it's a nice truck. Alrighty, so now that we're out of the sun there, it's kind of warm outside today. The hybrid drive system, how does it charge the battery? Well, what happens when you throw an electric motor into reverse as it's going forward? Say you're gearing down in the transmission, or you simply let your foot off the throttle, or some vehicles, including this one, when you touch the brakes, it throws the electric motor in reverse, forcing the wheels to actually turn the electric motor so what that's doing is that in turn is generating power instead of it using power to go forward is if the motor's turning the wrong way while the motor is the motor's turning forward while the motor's actually in reverse it charges the battery and the inverter system in turn what it does is it converts that power to 12 volts to charge the battery and that's simply how it works it's really not that complicated and it's really easy to service they're not voodoo, there's nothing really difficult with it. The only difference really with any other major component is the cooling system. Because there's a whole separate tank, coolant tank, and radiator assembly to cool the electric motors. So you got to make sure you service that along with the engine radiator coolant. But really, it's not that hard. And they're very quite, they're quite simple actually. And that thing is very luxurious to ride in. But unfortunately, I'm not allowed to drive it, so... I'd love to go cruising in it. It's quite a nice vehicle. It's got factory remote start and everything. So, yeah, if you got any other questions, don't hesitate to give me a comment. Uh, thank you for all your good comments. I really appreciate that. And if you got anything else that you want to want to talk about, or anything else that you want me to go over, or do perhaps, um, I can get onto that. And uh, you know, I can only really do what comes into my shop here, or my home base garage. So, yep, drop me a line and I'll, and I'll try to do that. Uh, I got a little bit of work to do on the ATVs, I guess, but you know, anything else you want to see, just let me know. All right, thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.